Hello everyone, and uh, it's finally time. I welcome you to the opening of this parcel right here, which has two snails in it that I purchased from the United Kingdom uh, about a month ago, but we did wait to post them because of the weather and because I was on holiday. Uh, they've been in a post for 14 days. Um, they entered the country a week ago, but they got stuck in the customs and import uh, and were not released uh, until before the weekend. So in my country, at least, uh, no post is sent or anything is processed during the weekends. So I had to wait till the next week. So I hope they're okay. I know from their seller, which is One Foot in the Shell on Facebook, that they have a lot of sweet potato with them. So I know they have food. Uh, I just hope they um, survive the journey. And um, part of my reason for making this video when I open snails is to show you in case something bad has happened that, you know, sometimes that's the case. And there's always going to be risks when you send snails in the mail. Firstly, I've got to say, though, I love what you did with the box. Looks lovely. A little drawing here with the snail is super cute. And there is fragile tape all over it. It's very nicely packaged. And the box is huge, which means it's probably also very nicely insulated and protected from uh, shock. Now I'm just going to tip it a little bit so I can get this tape on the other side. And then we're going to slice it open here. There we are. Open them up. And we have, oh, that's lovely. Here we have some cardboard to protect against being crushed and to keep everything in place. Very nice, thank you. Put that to this side here. We've got some more protection in here. And here we have the transport tub for the snails. And it looks like they've been rattled around a little bit. Um, is there anything else in here? I don't think so. So I'm just going to hop right to it. I can see at least one snail here that has woken up. Um, and I can see some poops. Very nice. They've been eating. So um, I'm just going to get this tape off and get them out of there. I've prepared... Ow, I stabbed myself. Ow. Um, I've prepared a lot of protein for them and squash. And I hope that's going to be very nice for them to recover to. Now, their names are going to be Todd and Cooper. And um, I named them after the Disney characters, um, the dog and the uh, fox. Um, so, yeah, I hope you like their names. Right, now let's release you from your prison. Oh, oh hello. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Oh, sorry. Can I just get you? Oh, I know, I know. Oh, dear me. Hi. Goodness, you are so beautiful. Is this your brother in here? Hello. Is he okay? Oh, yes, he is. Hello. There we are. Beautiful. Now... They are um, Fulika Wild from Madagascar. And why will you not focus? Hmm. I apologize for the poor focus quality. Um, but yeah, this is Todd and Cooper. And um, aside from being very cold, they seem to be all right. A little bit lethargic, maybe, from the journey. Because um, I know it's very hard to uh, travel across the world like this. Oh, sorry. I am terrible at zooming. I apologize. Um, one second. There we go. Now we can have a proper look at them. They seem just very tired. And... Um, I uh, completely understand, to be honest. It's been a long journey for you, hasn't it? Do you want to come out? Oh, I see an eye. Hello. Is that you? Oh, that's another eye. 
<gasps> Hi! Oh my goodness. You've had a long trip, haven't you? I know, it's been very difficult. Mm. Looks like your brother is still very sleepy. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's a sleepy lad. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and give these guys um, all of the protein and squash they could dream of and hopefully they will recover really well and uh, grow to be very large. Oh, is that, is that your brother coming out? Ah, <gasps> maybe we'll get to see your face before I stop the video. You wanna come out? Mm. It must have been very cold in the post, I'd imagine. We are just entering the uh, fall season as well. Um, which means that sending snails is going to be very hazardous and really ir irresponsible. So they were just sent in a nick of time before it got too cold. But we are still um, on the limit of how cold they can be outside, uh, especially in Norway. So yeah. Hi. Are you a cutie? <gasps> I think we're gonna see him. Also, the good thing is that none of them are retracted. That is very good. Um, like super retracted, none of them are in hibernation. Nothing got crushed, their shells look really good. Um, they're both active. So all in all, I'm very happy with how they were packaged and shipped. Um, I recommend uh, checking out uh, One Foot in the Shell on Facebook once again. Thank you for these snails. Um, and I hope that a second generation of Madagascar Fulica is going to enrich um, the gene pool of the Fulica and hopefully help um, restore them a bit. Hello. So yeah, thanks for watching this unboxing and um, I'll give you updates on these guys once they've settled in and uh, recovered a bit. So until then. Bye.